Good afternoon to you. I'm Al Cresta. Michael Burke went from being a successful lawyer, a loving father and husband, and respected member of the community, to a closet alcoholic and gambling addict to the tune of $1,600,000 of one of his client's trust account funds. He has been redeemed since that time and has written Never Enough, one lawyer's true story of how he gambled his career away. This is a serious matter, gambling. Oh, oh yes. It, it sure is hell. Thank you for having me. I want to kind of get behind your eyes on this. How's it begin? The alcohol definitely went first. I've been in recovery for 37 years. I haven't had a drink. At one of the sessions, I went through Brighton Hospital. And yes. this is while I was a practicing attorney. And I went through that program and I got my life all turned around. But then I started playing with gambling. And over the next 15 years, it's like any other addiction. It just got worse and worse and worse. And I did what no lawyer in the world should do. And every lawyer in the world knows he shouldn't do it. I took money out of a trust account. Eventually, it affected 16 of my clients. It was just an, an unbelievable thing. When I took the money the first time, I convinced myself I was not stealing money from my clients. I was simply going to borrow some money until I could put it back in the account. Right. I believe that with my whole heart yeah. and soul. And, okay. and when I told my family this, they didn't know I gamble. It's an easy addiction to hide. The first time you're going to notice a compulsive gambler, somebody who's crossed that line, is when there's a divorce, bankruptcy, when criminal charges are filed, when a suicide is attempted. 20% of compulsive gamblers actually attempt suicide. It's the highest suicide rate of any addiction. Wow. Tell me um, what your spiritual background was like. Give me some of those fundamentals. I'm one of 10 children, born in Ann Arbor. My grandfather had a practice in Ann Arbor, the Burke Law Firm. To this day, the Burke Law Firm is the oldest existing law firm in all of Washtenaw County. He actually was a judge at the Nuremberg War Trials. He was appointed after the Second World War. He tried Nazi war criminals. My father was a lawyer, ended up leaving the practice of law. He was appointed by the governor to head the Liquor Control Commission for the state. And that's when we moved to Howell. We were known in town as that good Irish Catholic family. <laughs> I went to Cooley Law School, very first class. So I have this real rich heritage. I have this understanding of the law. I love lawyers. Yeah. My book that you were mentioning, it's published by the American Bar Association. They, they want to help other lawyers not get into Same. what? I got what happened into. with you, yeah. All the proceeds are never enough go to my victims. I don't see a cent of it and never will. So this is a way of making restitution. That's correct. That's which is correct. a big part of recovery. Oh, oh my yeah. heaven's sakes, it, it absolutely is. When this happened back in 2001, there was nothing out there. There were no books. There was nothing else to speak of mm. for the families to look at. I spent three years in prison because of what I did. And when I came home, a friend of mine talked me into doing the book. And when I was doing it, working on it, my two daughters came to me and they said, Dad, we'd like to add a chapter to the book so that we can tell families going through this what it's like and that there is hope of coming out on the other side.